Hello everyone, my name is Fazia. I am 21 years old and I live in Silampur slum community with my family, which includes my mother, elder sister, twin brother and two younger sisters. We live in rented room which is too small for all of us. We have to use public toilets and open drains are dirty and blocked with garbage. I lost my father six years ago after a brief illness and we were in complete despair and lost all hope. This was the worst experience we have faced as a family because he was the sole earner of our family. My brother had to quit his school to support our family. He worked tirelessly as a loader so my sisters and I could continue our studies. He earns about 80 US dollars per month. As I was preparing for my high school leaving exam, my mother was diagnosed with cancer. The members of our extended family did not support us and there were days when we slept empty stomach to save money for my mother's treatment. I had to take care of her at the hospital while studying for the exam, so I also decided to, to quit my school. And during this lowest phase of my life, Asha came to me. I still remember my first interaction with Asha team. I was an introvert girl and couldn't speak a word. And she, Bhaiya, Shashi Didi took me to the Asha center. There, they introduced me to the other kind and loving Asha members. They motivated me to join Asha. There, I found a library with rich resources and a dedicated study space. My senior ambassadors taught me and motivated me and I hardly believe when I scored 96% in my high school leaving exam. I was the highest scoring female student in 2020 in Asha. I still remember my first interaction with Dr. Kiran ma'am. It was one of many meetings. But my struggles did not end up there, as my mother was against me to continue my college education and she wanted me to start earning and contributing to the family income. However, Asha team counseled and motivated her to let me pursue the college education. And with the help of Asha, I secured and see a seat in the University of Delhi in the course of Bachelor's in English Honors, my dream course. When I first enter, entered in the college, I felt I was entering in a wonderful and totally different world. From the narrow lens of Silampur slum to our beautiful buildings with so many students and various activities, I learned to talk with my fellow students and I made new friends. I hardly talked with boys before, but entering in a co-educational college taught me how to talk with boys. Before college, I never traveled alone anywhere from my home, but now I travel to college and anywhere in Delhi any, without any problem. During the crisis of COVID-19, my brother lost his livelihood. Asha helped us surviving the crisis by providing groceries and medicine. Asha also trained me to become a Corona warrior. Since then, I'm serving my community sincerely. Asha also taught me to pay it forward. I love Asha values. To give me a professional exposure, Asha provided me with an internship in Macquarie Investment Bank, where I gained invaluable skills and experience working in a professional environment. Dr. Kiran Ma'am also introduced me to Dr. Jean Petit Ma'am. She is one of the board members in uh, USA. She conducts online sessions from there once in a week. And these sessions have improved my communication skills, which gave me confidence. She also preparing me for IELTS exam. I would never be able to thank her. She is an excellent teacher and the role she is playing in my life. I also want to thank you all for supporting me in my educational journey. It is impossible for a girl like me from Muslim background and poor living family conditions to even think of going to university. In fact, it's like a dream. I, 
I thank you to all of you and please continue to help us. There are so many girls like me in all Asha slums. Life can be transformed with the help of education. Thank you so much for listening to my story.